now. This video comes with a warning. I'm going to show you how you could use one of these to protect these boxes here from these and these. I'm Jeanette, I'm the enthusiastic gardener and I'm going to show you how to deal with this so you don't lose your box plants. Now of course in an ideal world all our gardens look as beautiful as these ones do. The sun shines, the birds sing, the bees buzz, the roses are blooming, everything's wonderful but if you have any of these box plants that you've lovingly spent years and it does take years training them into beautiful topiaries, lovingly cut them every year into stunning designs and beautiful shapes and lovely hedges. But there is something in the garden to beware of. You are going to have to be on the lookout for these, the box tree moth, Cydolema perspectalis. They've come over to the UK accidentally from Southeast Asia and the caterpillars and the larvae of the moth feed on our box plants. They lay pale yellow flat eggs on the underside of the leaves. Um, the caterpillars have dark brown stripes, thick black and thin white stripes down their body and they've got black dots outlined in white. And so the caterpillars, they feed and eat these leaves and they can leave the box plants disfigured with severe loss of leaves, they can defoliate the plants completely and of course these box plants are then unable to recover. So we need to take action to protect the plants before the visible caterpillar feeding appears and that is expected April to October. The RHS have done a survey and they would like to know where the moths have been seen. So you can go on their website which is the rhs.co.uk. They ask you to fill out the survey form. Now last summer, I planted all these box plants. As you can see, cost me a fortune. And a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money, putting them all in, straightening them all up, measured them, everything. However, last summer I noticed they were all bitten, chewed. I didn't know what it was, so. I googled, I thought it was box blight, but it turns out it wasn't box blight, it was box moth caterpillar. As you can see, it's now March, and they're just beginning to get some green, new green growth on, which is really encouraging. I managed to get the box moths in time, obviously. I'm just going to give each plant a quick burst of water, just to make sure there's no eggs that have already been laid, that might be hiding in amongst all the leaves. So I'm going to go through and do that to every plant right now. fairly confident that I've given them a good a good burst of the hose if there were any eggs which I don't think there are this time of year because apparently the moths start in April so it's March still so I'm doing it in good time but if there are any then we've got rid of them now I'm going to take you inside show you what to do with the moth trap so this is the sort of thing you can buy, it comes like this, in a box like this, it's called the Buxer Trap Box Tree Mocks, Buxer Trap Moth Tree, Buxer Trap Box Moth, Buxer Trap Box Tree Moth Trap, Buxer Trap Moth Tree Moth trap, it's a bit of a tongue twister. But anyway, you can get them in lots of different places. You can get them on eBay, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them from 
lots of um, garden centres and anywhere online will sell them. They come in all different prices. I've seen them for as low as about £13 and they do go up to something like £23. They come with two of these inside and this is enough to last six weeks. So that comes with it and then you can buy the refill separately. Um, I put a note on my phone to remind me to change it every six weeks. And that is what I would suggest that you do. So all you do, open it up and you will find a syringe inside. And then you will get one milliliter of this liquid. It's a pheromone trap. So it traps the mailbox tree moths inside. So you remove the syringe from the sachet, you take off the cap of the syringe, and you syringe half of the liquid into the first basket. Let me show you. So this comes off, and you just syringe half of the liquid into here. The liquid is not runny, so it's not going to run out. So I've put half of the liquid in there. Hope you can see that. Put the lid back on. Then you put this into the top like that. Just press it down nice and firmly so it clicks. And then there's a second cap here. So we just put the rest of the syringe in this cap, exactly the same sort of thing. Put the lid on this one. Remember, to, we're gonna really wash our hands after all this. And then you can see right inside there, there's a little hole which this clips onto there. So we've got some in here in the, here, this one, and we put some in this one up the top. We clip it all down together and just lock it into place. So now this is ready to hang up. So this ferrobone would attract the male moths into there. They'll fall down this hole they'll get caught by the one inside the basket. Last year I managed to catch probably about 50 moths. So, and I, I didn't start doing it right at the beginning of the season either. My boxes plants had already been got at. So we just hang it there. Hopefully that will do the trick. And I'll put in my phone Diarise for when I need to do it again. I actually need to order some more because I've used both sachets now, so I will get on and order some more. And that's it, really. I'm Jeanette, I'm the enthusiastic gardener. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and thank you so much to the people who have. Thank you.